everyone thinks it's just an opinion, right? Well, that's not exactly the case. CBC has uncovered a case where an Ottawa woman's opinions have gotten to her into some hot water because of the reviews she had posted about a housing corporation. As Canadians, we have a right to our opinions, and we are entitled to our opinions through freedom of speech. However, the trouble comes when we don't understand the rules and regulations around free speech. We enjoy freedom of speech here in Canada, but I mean there's certain limitations, reasonable limitations that have pl been placed on it by, by government and by the courts and, and, and we see those limitations as reasonable, usually in most cases. Ken Peters, a part-time law and ethics instructor here at Conestoga College, explains. Students are allowed to write reviews and under the, you know, the defense of fair comment, um, we see this all the time where there can be reviews of uh, restaurants or, or concerts or, or things like that. But we have to make sure that we follow the, the, all the terms of the defense of fair comment to make sure that, that we have at least a defense against such matters as defamation. When students were asked whether they had written reviews before, all answers were yes. However, these students feel that companies should not be able to access your private information like they did in the CBC case in order to seek legal action. I don't think so. It is the right of free speech and I also think that if somebody wants information or to know somebody else's personal experience with something then they should be more than welcome to have that information whether it was like a positive or negative experience. No. Why is that? Because it's my opinion and sometimes it deserves to be heard. No. Why is that? Because it's not fair. If they ask for your opinion, then it's your opinion. They can't get mad over what you say. So before students take to the net to express their opinions, they should keep this in mind. I think the, the whole key thing is that they need to stress fairness in whatever they do. They have to realize that when they write a review, whether it's for a publication or for an online publication, that those reviews will stick around for a long time. They can be very harmful and they can be financially de devastating to a business. So I think that a student has to realize that they must be fair in what they write and it must be based, it can be based on their opinion, but it must be based on on a set of facts. Was the food cold? Did it, was the service very lousy? Or were those kind of things? And they should always strive to be fair. For Spoke Online, I'm Beth Krause.